Hey y'all, it's Jo. So I'm gonna um, continue on with my vloggist style and um, this one might actually be only the three or maybe four days because the time is getting up there. And so we'll see where I'm at at the end of this one, vlogist the ninth, and then I'll go from there. Maybe I'll, I'll have to make this its own video and then start over again tomorrow. I don't want them to go too long, right? Y'all don't got time for this. <laughs> it's August the 6th. And I'm fixing to go take a little ride um, to a couple of our favorite stores. Like Hobby Lobby and Michael's. And maybe Books A Million. And um, my guys are out of town today. Oh, my hair is a mess. And um, so I'm on my own for lunch. So I thought I'd go uh, pick up some of the Lord's chicken. And... Um, <laughs> also known as Chick-fil-A. <laughs> so I might get me some Chick-fil-A today for lunch and while I'm out and about and I'll check in with y'all in a little bit. So before I go out, I just thought I'd, you probably can read this on the top of my shirt. So I'll let you read the rest of it. Introverts unite separately in our own homes. Yes. <laughs> Isn't that funny? It's so cute. And it's so true, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay y'all I'm at Hobby Lobby and all the yarn is on sale 30% off and I found something new to show y'all chunky knit velvet but look y'all 20 bucks I bet it'll be on sale for 5 bucks this time next year <laughs> Like I got that other stuff. Of course, I do have more of that down there that I that I got for $4.99. Ooh, look at the red. Look at the red, y'all. Let's see if we can find out about it. There you go. It's only 40 yards. It's a seven jumbo. Hmm. It's very soft and luscious. This is also new, or at least new to me, Cotton XXL Silver. It's 100% cotton. Wow, cotton that big. I don't know about working with yarn like this though. Y'all let me know if you like to work with yarn like that. But um, what else can we find out? 50 yards, which isn't a whole lot. It does seem rather a small skein for $4.99. But it's big thick cotton, I like that. Looks like they got room for more colors. I love to grab these little free um, patterns and stuff. Here's one sitting right here. I'll grab that and throw it in my basket. Is this something new? Yarn B Stripe It. Hmm. So that's how it works up. So it's got a big uh, black stripe in the middle of the two grays. That's pretty neat. But you could probably do your own color change for something like that very easily. Um, acrylic 22% wool. 196 yards for $4.99. Okay, they must have lots of new yarn bee yarns. Um, here's another one called Hue IQ. Y'all, isn't that gorgeous? I love these colors. Let's see, it is, it is a six bulky, super bulky. 57 yards, 100% acrylic. I just wish they would have it in a bigger ball, right? Because you really need more, you know, you would have to buy a bunch of them to actually make something, but maybe you could make up one of those, um, those cute little hats that are um, bulk, made with bulky and big hooks. Maybe, oh, I might get this and try this. 
this is something new, Color Whirl. Color Whirl. Look, it's like a tube. Like cotton stuffed in it. Oh, don't look at my nails. That's neat. Let's see what we can find about this. It's a six bulky. And it's $11.99. Seventy-seven yards. Hmm. Acrylic. That's a nice size ball, though. That's a nice size scheme. Oh, look at these down here. Feels like terry cloth. <gasps> look how skinny that is. Look how small a weight that is. Let's check it out. See all the pretty colors. It's a two, fine, 100% polyester. And it's called Baby Bee Cozy Cutesy. Oh my goodness, that feels like a little fluff ball. Sugar Wheel Cotton is one of my favorites and it got moved over here. So um, I do not see any new colors and they still only have that one sparkle. Does your? Hobby Lobby carry this. I think it's the first time I've seen this here. Sheep cheese. Sheep, sheep just. Gosh, I wish they would get the whirls, right? Look at all these little bitty tiny things. What do you do with them? There's 109 10 gram balls, mercerized cotton. Wow, 109 of them. This is, I think this would be great for like granny squares and stuff, right? $80. Hmm. I guess it wouldn't be too bad with a 40% off coupon, right? That's neat. Be still my widow beating heart. Look at this. And this. And this. And that, uh, that might have to come home with me. Y'all, look, it looks just like the whirl cakes. The sheep cheese whirls, I was just, uh, this is called Rainbow Rhapsody. This must be Teal of Fortune. Teal of Fortune, $8.99. Uh, let's see what else we can find out. 60 cotton, 40 acrylic, and it's a one. Wow, I can't believe they're selling something like this at Hobby Lobby, y'all. Amaze balls. <gasps> and it's on sale this week. Oh my goodness, and it looks like they're going to be getting in lots more colors. <gasps> oh, oh, heebie jeebies. Oh no. 60% cotton doesn't count for my acrylic band, right? Right? Oh, that one got thrown in the cart. What do we have down here? Oh, the red heart. Roll with it, melange. Oh, ooh, that is so pretty, y'all. Oh, look at this. Oh my goodness, it's a four. 389 yards. See, that's more like it with the yardage. $7. Hmm, gorgeous, y'all. Look at the colors. Vlog is the seventh. <laughs> so, um, I'll show you what I picked out of that yarn at Holly Lobby, y'all. I had to this is my, on my defense, it's 60% cotton, okay? And like down here in like the South, we need cotton and cooler fibers to work with. So that's what I'm going with. <laughs> so I apologize for any lawn equipment noises you hear out the window or my dog clipping on the floor. Um, Y'all look at this. 
that not gorgeous? Okay, like I showed you in the store, Yarn Bee Rainbow Rhapsody. This one's called Wild and Free. 918 yards these have, and it's a size one. Um, it's just absolutely gorgeous. So this is Wild and Free. This one is Gerbera Daisy Fields Garden. Gerber Daisy Garden but they put Gaber, Gabera. <laughs> um, beautiful pastels, absolutely gorgeous. I love it. This was the other one y'all saw me. I was like, oop, that one got thrown in the cart. Uh, Teal of Fortune. <laughs> and yes, you have to say it like that if you watch the wheel. Isn't that gorgeous? Now this one, I actually looked at the name before I started filming this, and I was thrown aback by the name Obsidian Daydreams. And they spell it with a Y, O-B-Y. Now when I tried to research that name, not research, I just put it in Google, right? <laughs> it's not like I did research paper on it. <laughs> um, it is um, a naturally occurring volcanic glass. I don't know if they spelled it wrong or if they mean something else by this, but it would make sense that it would be volcanic rock uh, with the black and the gray and the white. So those are my, my beauties from Hobby Lobby. And I only got these four colorways. <laughs> only got these four colorways like yes I may have gotten more than one of each of those <laughs> but um I am now excited to go back and see what they're gonna fill in all those empty spots oh gosh I'm still waiting for my lion brand Shaw Nabal to come in I um, actually just got a email yesterday yesterday saying it was just shipped out so I don't know what the holdup was on that line brand. Only, only probably that 15,000 other people did the same thing as me. <laughs> but anyway, let's see what else is going on this vlog is the seventh. So, oh, I'll back up and show you this shirt. Oh, my stool's in the way. It's sheepishly sharing, sheepishly sharing share what you love and most of y'all probably know margaret olander she is one of the first people i found on youtube when i first started crocheting three almost four years well three and a half three and three quarter years <laughs> let's count right <laughs> um and she was one well of course of course i found the crochet crowd and Mikey. And then I found uh, people like um, Crystal Bag of Day. I found, um, what is that? Oh, I can't remember. There was another one I used to watch all the time. Um, anyway, you know, some of the really big channels. And um, so Margaret was one of the first ones I found. And I grew to love her because she's just a sweet, respectful, very sweet um, lady, that um, Southern lady that I could so relate to. I think she actually has family in Southern Louisiana also, and, uh, and Mississippi she's from, and she's been living in Georgia for, I don't know, two, I guess a couple of years now. Anyway, so this is her, this is her channel, Sheepishly Sharing. I'm going to pull it up like this. <laughs> Sheepishly sharing. So go check out Margaret. I'll link her channel down below, but I'm sure y'all already know about her. She's got lots. Lot, she's, she's like the crafty queen. She does it all. She does crochet, knit, loom, sewing, and all kinds of other crafty things. And just and wonderful advice and good tips. Check her out. It's Vlogus the 8th. And I finally 
completed my little lap lap gan. This was made with the two strands of um, sugar wheel. I showed y'all in an earlier video. So I held two strands together and it went, you know, the two colors, different colors would combine. You just grab them and randomly grab a couple of random colored cakes and put them together and here we go. I thought it came out pretty neat. It, um, it's a little oddly shaped. It's like 55 inches long and only like 27 inches wide. But it's actually, I think it, it looks like the size of a large bath towel, <laughs> which actually probably isn't so bad to have that kind of size, right? It's, um, it'll be able to um, just drape over your legs and up onto your chest very easily as you sit down. So um, there we go. Oh, this was made with the Tunisian lace stitch and I used a 12 millimeter Tunisian hook to make this. You can see the, um, my tension was much looser over here um, <laughs> as compared to over here. You see how much tighter my tension is, but, um, and the blanket looks slightly skinnier on that end as opposed to the other end. But anyway, eh, just something we're going to throw around. And it was um, just something I wanted to do just to see if I could do it. So anyway, it's pretty neat. That was Vlogus the 8th. It's Vlogus the 9th, y'all. So we have, um, I showed you yesterday that um, blanket that I finished really cute little mashup of unusual colors that comes out to look so pretty, right? And um, I also have some other things I wanna show you, cause I couldn't show you last time, but guess what? Our friend Nicole published a pattern. And if you go to her page, I'll link it down below, go to her channel and You'll see the community tab up top. You know how you can go to different spots, different tabs in someone's channel. If you go to the community tab and tap on that, it will bring you to this cup, not cupcake, cake cozy pattern that she made up. And um, it's so adorable, look. Look a look a look a it's whole and you know those messy cakes these you know these messy cakes the soft and sleek soft and sleek DK from Hobby Lobby I love these cakes but they are a mess right does anybody else have trouble with those perfect perfect little cake I keep wanting to call it cupcake cake cake cozy keeper <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Nicole is, she's so smart, that girl, that Nikki Boo Boo, so smart. So, um, when I made this, I had a little bit left over. So, guess what I did? I made a little bitty one. <laughs> I'm like, well, I'm going to make one for my little minis. <laughs> my little mini sugar wheel cotton cakes. <laughs> Look at that. Isn't that cute? <laughs> So I made that with the leftovers from, this is just made with um, sugar and cream cotton. So that, this made these two. And then I made another one. Where, oh, it's over here. Hold on. I put one of these. I had one of these Karen cotton cakes in it. This big old Karen cotton cake. I made it out of the yellow. Now, I used a six millimeter hook. Was it a six? Yeah, it was a six I used for this. And um, 
there's still, you know, there's lots of room in here. I thought I was gonna run out of yarn and it was gonna be too small. So I only did like these two um, fuller rows and then I just did the mesh up to the top, but I could have I could have kept my pretty design with the solid row too. And not only that, it gives it more structure, you know, when you got stitches. I guess I, I just went to town. Yeah, I don't know what I do. I go, I like things and I just keep making them over and over and over again, as long as they're easy and useful or whatever. Um, I made this one. This is another, just a, a, what do you call it? Sugar and cream cotton cake. Guess what I have in here? This sucker. This is also made with a six millimeter. So I could probably stuff one of these in here also just stretches out, right? This puppy holds one of these humongous Big Daddy Karen Big Cakes. That's the big cake, looks big as my head. So the other day when I was showing Nicole about, you know, look, I made one big enough with it because I used a six millimeter hook. I guess I kept my tension loose or whatever. And I was holding it like this, showing her how big it was. And they, what do you see here when I hold this up? Guess what? It's a hat. <laughs> I'm like, look, it's like a little flapper hat. It could have a little flower or a bow right here. <laughs> it was hilarious. We got the biggest kick out of that us girls clowning around, but um, yeah, it's great. You know how these get so messy? So I will link down below, it's Nicole with um, Addicted to Yarn, if you don't know her. I'm sure lots of you do. She is just now getting back into podcasting. She's a busy, busy mama with four kids. So she doesn't um, have a whole lot of time or quiet time to devote to, um, you know, recording videos. But the girl has gone to town. She just posted one the other day. She had a million things to show y'all. She does awesome work. And um, don't forget, she says in her video that she will email you the, um, the pattern for this, but this is made with a five millimeter, this one. But um, she got so many requests and she doesn't really have a lot of extra time on her hands. She made up a, um, what do you call it? She put her pattern in like a picture format and posted that and it's on the community tab in her channel. So go look that up and I'll link it down below. Yay. Let me tell you something else about my little Nicole. She made her same, we did the same exact one, um, Tunisian Express shawl. So she has that to show you in her video. And also, you should see, she did a permade too. You should see hers. She just, she did the um, safety eyes and the eyelashes and the little flowers in the ears. And oh my goodness, so cute, so adorable. Um, and she did her little um, octopus from Sarah with um, a curious cuttlefish, her little octopus pattern. I'll, I'll link Sarah down below too. So yeah, and now you'll see if you watch her video, she did a um, like a washcloth in a fillet, fillet crochet, which I am gonna learn Hopefully this week I will be able to get on that and start learning how to fillet crochet. So that's very interesting to me. And um, so she wrote up, not wrote up, but she got a pattern and um, she wrote out in words, like how you go back and forth on the rows. Okay, so you know how you do like graph gans and make like pictures in, in your crochet with squares, right? whether it's a single crochet or it's like a C2C with a bigger square. Um, th well, that's what you can do with fillet crochet. I'm sure y'all know that. 
And um, so I'm looking forward to learning how to do that and make like doilies and stuff with like, you know how that you always see the one that says home sweet home on it or something like that and people frame it and hang it on the wall. Well, we'll see. We'll see if this mama can, um, can grasp that concept and that'll be fun to learn. Learning's always fun, right? Fun, fun. Thanks for sticking around for Joe's Web number 18. See you next time.